Average Guy Cigar Channel. William with Kevin. Tonight we're reviewing the Elephant Man by the Diesel. It's in the it's in the Sideshow Bots. If you don't know about the Sideshow Bots, it's just kind of a random assortment of seven cigars the Diesel did. Kind of a limited production thing. What you think about it, Kevin? Man, this is a real interesting cigar. Um, I just lit it up two minutes ago. I did not have to cut it. Uh, it already it had a cut in it. It's a barber pole wrap of sorts, but uh, it has a hard tobacco leaf wrapped around it. A really, really nice, dark, oily Maduro wrapper. Um, having just lit it, I'm getting a real peppery flavor. Uh, it tastes like it's going to be a real full-bodied cigar. Mm -hmm. um, so far, so good, man. I mean, this thing is uh, its its interesting to look at, for sure. <laughs> Kind of like the whole circus sideshow thing. Uh, they have cigars in this sideshow sampler called the Bearded Lady. Uh, this one's called the Elephant Man. Mm -hmm. um, some other interesting names that uh, Will will read off to you here. The Strong Man. We're smoking the Elephant Man right now. The Bearded Lady. Frog Man. So the Bohemian Twins. And the 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 funny part about this is I thought, man, this is a really cool little sampler. And if you actually open the box up. If I can get it open. Just got to be smarter than the box, Will. Shut up. Shut up. If you can get the box open, it's actually got a tray in here where all the cigars go. And they actually fit inside the tray. So I thought that was really neat. That it wasn't just randomly thrown in a box kind of haphazardly. You know, so. Um, the sampler's a lot of fun. This cigar so far is uh, definitely worth the price point. Uh, Will bought them from Cigars International, which is uh, a really good website for buying cigars. There are several. If you Google uh, Diesel Sideshow Sampler Box, you'll find several different uh, places you can get it from. Mm -hmm. It's 50 bucks or 49.99 for seven cigars, which you're getting seven really interesting cigars. Um, this is the only one I've tried so far. I plan on getting myself a box of them after smoking this one. <laughs> um, but we will be back in about a half an hour, 45 minutes or so. Uh, some guy on uh, the Google search for uh, this Elephant Man smoke said that it took him an hour and 45 minutes to smoke this cigar. I don't see that happening. Mm -hmm. This guy must be a puffer or something. I don't know what's up with that, but uh, I think it might take about an hour. So we'll see you about halfway through. You guys uh, take a break, and we'll see you in a couple minutes. Average Guy Cigar Channel. William and Kevin smoking the Elephant Man by Diesel Sideshow, which is, I believe, an A.J. Fernandez cigar? It is. We uh, did a little research. It's made by A.J. All diesels are made by A.J. Fernandez. Um, like I said last week, you can't ever go wrong with A.J. Um, this has been one of the most interesting smokes that I've had in a long time. Thank you very much, Will, for uh, no problem. doing your research and buying these bad boys. Uh, I'm going to get myself a couple boxes of them from uh, Cigars International, which is the only place you can buy diesel. Uh, or one of the only places you can buy diesel, I should say. Um, uh, I'm going to back off a little bit. It's not a full, full-bodied cigar. It's more of a medium, full-bodied cigar. Um, a lot of really good flavor as we get, get into it. It's uh, gotten a little milder since we started with the real peppery flavor, but uh, just a lot of, good, uh, lot of good flavor in this thing. Um, the ash, as you can see, and uh, even that barber pole, you can see the uh, the ash burning into the barber pole. This this is just a fantastic smoke. Um, highly recommended if you like uh, full-bodied or medium-full cigars. Um, you know, again, the presentation that uh, AJ gives you with that diesel box that Will showed you earlier. Um, it's going to make a really cool decoration here in the man cave. Um, we're having a lot of fun smoking this. This is the first one out of this series that we've done. Uh, we decided uh, while y'all were taking a break that uh, we're going <laughs> to review every one of them and uh, let you know what they're what they're all like. Um, I got a feeling we're going to really enjoy this sampler. Uh, Will got his money's worth, and I'll get my money's worth because I'll get a couple boxes of them and share them with my man, Will. That's what cigar smoking is all about, people. Having fun with your friends, spending time together doing things you enjoy, 
Maybe it's just watching some TV. Maybe it's doing a jigsaw puzzle. We're not judging. We don't know. I don't like jigsaw puzzles, but hey, whatever works for you. Whatever works for you, man. The smoke coming off this bad boy is uh, really good. A lot of good, pretty smoke, as my wife likes to say. Pretty. That smoke's so pretty coming off that cigar. Does she have a powder blue Prius? <laughs> no, she doesn't have a Prius. <laughs> but, uh, y'all, thank you for joining us here on Average Guy Cigars. And uh, thank you, Will, mm -hmm. for the Elephant Man and uh, this awesome cigar sampler. If you enjoyed the video, y'all, please put light at the bottom of the screen. Stay tuned for the remainder of our videos. We'll be doing the rest of the sampler pack probably just in a row, I imagine. Yep, and uh, thanks for joining us. We appreciate you guys. Have a good night. I took warfarin for over 15 You know, Kevin, more who said this thing takes an hour and 45 minutes to smoke? What are you setting your cigar down, letting it burn out, and waiting a half hour before you relight it? Something wrong with you. Stroke and people with AFib. Interferes with vitamin K what, like 45 minutes now? And we haven't finished it yet? That's not an hour and 45 minutes. Targeting one critical factor. I know what it is, Kevin. I know what it is. For people with AFib, they put it down. They went to the store. Got some beer. Came back to the cigar shed or the porch or whatever. Picked it back up. Had to go to the bathroom. Realized they forgot mayonnaise on the sandwich that they were making. Went back inside, put some mayo on the sandwich. And then came back out and relit it. That's what it was. That had to be what it was. Maybe they went to a movie like way across the hour long TV show. I don't know, but I'm not going to tell you.